welcome to episode 11 of Flick, James Flick, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent. Today I'll be reviewing Kick-Ass. So we start off with a high school classroom environment. Oh, a Batman reference by mention of the name. Interesting. Wow, Nicolas Cage is barely even recognizable with a mustache, but still fun to watch nonetheless. Whoa, Kick-Ass, our title character, is getting into a fight with a couple of thugs. Well, Dave, the alter ego of our title character, just got released from the hospital after that wipeout on the street earlier. So Kick-Ass has a couple of clubs now. That is pretty cool. So Kick-Ass has now become an internet phenomenon the town over. Kick-Ass just tased a thug. Outrageous, man. Oh, look. Hit Girl has made it on the scene too. Oh, and Big Daddy is in town too. Is in town as well. We are now an hour into this movie and my goodness, Kick-Ass has inspired a wave of other superheroes in his town as we now also have Red Mist. LOL, the song Crazy by Gnarls Barkley just played on the car radio. That is a very risky situation that Kick-Ass and Red Mist are in. A building on fire, to be exact. So Kick-Ass is now once again riding in Red Mist's car. Well, a climatic action-packed sequence involving gunplay. How exciting is this? Wait a minute. An 11-year-old female crime fighter? That's something you don't hear about every day. Wow. For an 11-year-old crime fighter, like Hit Girl, she can pull off some exciting action scenes. Bad Reputation by Joan Jett is playing in the background. Oh, and now there's a bazooka amidst all the gunplay mayhem as we get closer to the end of this movie. So the thugs have now been defeated, it looks like. Overall, Kick-Ass is, out is a ludicrously outrageous, action-packed great time. Join me next time when I review Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I'm Flick, James Flick. Your one and only movie reviewing secret agent out there.